We're going to be solving six equations here today, and we're going to actually find out that these two are the same. And actually, a lot of these equations are the same as what we're going to find. So the way we actually find that out is by solving them. So the first thing I want to get rid of is the 3 and the negative 17. So let's get rid of the negative 17 with a positive 17 on both sides. I do that and I can get these 17s to cross out. This 3x comes down, so I'll have 3x equals, and putting this in my calculator, I should have 9. Then what I'm going to do is get rid of this 3, and I can do that by dividing by 3 on both sides. Okay. What that's going to do is cross out these 3. 3 divided by 3 is going to be 1x. I don't need to have that 1 here, so I'm just going to have x equals, and I put this in my calculator, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So my first answer here is x equals 3. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my equation tracker here. So I'm going to take x, or equation 1, over to x equals 3. Three. All right, let's go on to equation two here. So draw our balance beam and realize that this x wants to be alone. We need to get rid of these two terms, but I wish I could do negative eight right here, but I can't get to this eight because he is inside these parentheses, but I can get to this four. So this four is multiplying right now. So to get rid of him, I'm going to go and divide by 4 on both sides. What that's going to do, have these 4s cross out to 1. And then I don't need my parentheses anymore because I got rid of that 4 who was harassing us on the outside. So my 8 minus x comes down, and 20 divided by 4 in my calculator is 5. Next thing I want to do is go ahead and get rid of this 8. Now we need to remember there's an invisible positive telling us he's a positive 8. So I can say negative 8 on both sides. Go ahead and cross these ones right here. And then I'm going to get my... This is something important a lot of my students forget. When I bring down this x, they usually just bring it down like this. Okay, but what they forgot is this negative sign. So it really needs to be negative x. Now at this point, um, I have a negative x. I want positive x. So if I wanted to switch these, I can switch all my terms. If negative x goes to negative 3, it makes sense that x would go to 3. Okay, we could also add another step where we divide or multiply by a negative 1 on both sides. So now here we have equation 2 leading to the same answer that I had in this. So since the answers are the same, that means that the original equations, these original equations are also the same. Okay, so these ones right here are also the same. Okay, let's map out equation 2. So when I come over here and I say equation 2 is going to 3 as well. Actually, I need to scoot on over to access this. Okay, equation 2 goes to 3. Now let's move on to equation 3. Now this one is interesting because we have x on both sides of my balance beam. So I always like to move my smaller x so I can get rid of this negative 7x, and then he's going to pop on over here to the 9. Negative 7x both sides. This one right here is going to cross. This comes down, and these become 2x equals negative 14. This negative is also commonly forgotten uh, by my students. Next move. Let's get rid of this 2 that's harassing the x by dividing the 2. Since the 2 is right next to the x, he's multiplying. So divide him here on both sides. Then we go ahead and we can cross this out. 
and the left hand side is just going to have x equals and this is going to be negative 7. Now this answer means that it is different okay so these ones are not um, equal so we are not going to have them coming together here. Let's go to equation three. It's going to go to negative seven. All right, let's go this next one. Again, I have the X on both sides. So I want to go for the smaller one. Here are my two X's. I have a negative three and an eight. Negative three is obviously the smaller one. So I'm going to go plus three X on both sides. Crosses. This one is going to cross out. The 7 will come down. The 84 will come down. And then I'll have to put this into the calculator. All right. So my 7 equals, and I believe this is 11x plus 84. The next move is to get rid of the things bothering x, which would be the 11 and the 84. The easiest one to get rid of is 84 with the opposite negative 84 on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and cross this out, bring down my 11, and run this through my calculator, and that gives me negative 77 equals 11x. I need to get rid of my 11, so my x is all alone. Divide by 11, divide by 11. These ones here cross out, giving me x equals and I put this into my calculator and that gives me negative 7. So that'll be my answer for this one which means these ones are the same. So let's go ahead and map 4 onto negative 7 as well. I think you're going to find out the next two are just going to match up with 3 and negative 7. So all of these are similar to at least one or two others. All right, here comes equation 5. This one's nice and straightforward. It's just as easy as the first one. Um, we need to get rid of this negative 7 and the 5 so that my x can be all alone. The 5 is the easiest one to get rid of. He's not right up on the x, so I just go negative 5, negative 5, I cross this, uh, this side out, these guys cross out, and then I can bring down the negative 7x. So I have negative 7x equals, and I believe this would be 49. Then to get my x alone, I need to divide by negative 7. This side can cross out. And I'll have x equals negative 7. Okay. So all these are the same. 3, 4, and 5 are the same. Let's go up here and say this one goes to negative 7. So I think I know that my last one, equation 6, is going to go to 3. But let's go ahead and prove it. I have an x on both sides. I go for the smaller one instead of the 6 because I like to have positive numbers. So let's go negative 2. Whoops, that's not a 2. Negative 2x. Negative 2x. These ones cross out. And I get um, this one to come down, this one to come down. And then I'll have 4x minus 7 equals 5. And then I just have two more steps. Get rid of this negative 7, get rid of the 4. To get rid of the negative 7, positive 7 both sides, plus 7, plus 7. This crosses, it comes down, the 4x equals, and I think this one is 12. Last move is to divide by 4, divide by 4. I have this cross out and my x equals 3 and that is what we knew. So the way that you can find if equations are the same is to solve them and if they have the same solution then they are equivalent equations.